name of Jesus, the name, the name, the name. No life name, no name like the name of Jesus. There's no name like the name of Jesus. There's no name like the name of Jesus. There's no name like the name of Jesus. Refreshing, 
refreshing. And surely I come to refresh you. Surely I come to empower you. For I pour out my presence. I am the bomb of Gilead. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am. Come on to me. 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 I'll give you rest. You pass your test. Come on to me. Come on to me. Come on to me. Rest, 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 rest. Rest in the house. Fruitfulness in the house. Fruitfulness in the house. Stir up your gifts. Stir up the gifts. Stir up the gifts. Stir up the kids, stir up the kids in the house, stir up, I'll give you rest. And the Lord says, surely my people, you shall increase from a position of rest. You shall flourish from a position of rest. And many shall see it and know that it was I, Jehovah. I am that I am. For no man shall get my glory. It shall not be performance driven. Rest, 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 rest. He wants you to know for sure. Rest. I'll do a new thing. Suddenly it springs up. Suddenly it springs up. Suddenly it springs up. A new thing. Suddenly it springs up. Suddenly it springs up. They shall come from the north, they shall come from the east, they shall come from the south and the west. They shall come, they shall come, and I'll cause them to bless, 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 bless. I'm stirring the nests of my people. I'm fortifying you for the shaking that is coming. I'm establishing you and I call you overcomer. Shall not fall. Twenty twenty five shall be the culminating grace. 
year. The middle of the decade. Five, the number of grace. I'm pouring out on my people so they shall not falter. Neither shall they faint. For I have established for you a great reward. And many shall hear thereof near and far. New faces and new places. I shall bring new faces into this house. And their identity will be upon their face. For I shall cause them to shine. And you shall know of a truth that the glory of the Lord will be on this house. The glory of the Lord. They just gonna come for the glory. to the glory. They shall come in numbers. They shall come in families. They shall come from the streets. They shall come those that are forgotten, disenfranchised. And they will be seeking rest. They come seeking rest, Apostle. Because they are weary and they're convinced nobody cares. But when the glory manifests, they're going to come like the lepers did in the city. They're going to come and I shall provide them spoils. And this house should be known as a compassion station. As a compassion station. They're going to say Everly everlasting life. You know what I said? You ought to go. They, mm -hmm, they do some stuff. They'll help you. You're going to have that reputation. Some folk going to show up saying stuff like, is this the deliverance church? And they're going to say, yes, they're going to say, good, because I need deliverance. And they're going to come publishing the good news. I believe that's your gateway to television. It's going to be such a stir in the region. So people are going to say, what's going on? Is this really happening? I see the homeless. <laughs> I, I see some of them coming to you, but I see you going to them. He's not going by himself. I see you, I see the streets of Baltimore. 
being mapped out strategically. Sections and quadrants. You're not to go everywhere. He's not calling you to everybody. But he is calling you to somebody. And you should bring deliverance. Because you a man is not afraid to cross borders. <laughs> See, some people are afraid to cross borders. When you go, when you're a person of compassion, you gotta cross some borders. Jesus! Help me! Blind border made us. You had to cross some borders. You had to cross some borders. Look who he eating with. Look what he had to cross some borders. Everybody don't want to cross borders. But this house should be a house of compassion. To bring healing to the afflicted. That they may know there is a God who cares. There's a lot of people in this region that they gave up. They feel like don't nobody care. They feel like it's not no churches that care. Ain't no preachers that care. So when you start doing the work, you're going to stick out like a soap. They're going to say, what, what, church are you, what church are you from? Where is your church at? Who, who, who's the pastor at your church? <laughs> and you're going to say, I am. They're going to say, the pastor out here? The pastor out here? We haven't seen it on this order. And God said, son, I have anointed you and none shall be able to stand against you. And he said, this is your hour. This is your, and not next year. <laughs> this is your, he didn't say this is your day. This is your hour. And the Lord said, I'll do it. Because your heart, it is delighted in me. Because your heart is delighted in me. I'll bring it to pass. And many shall know of a truth. <laughs> oh, Lord, they just got here. <laughs> you just got here. And we were just talking about how all the, the cause of But transition. Transition. Trans I heard bigger and better. From a place of rest and not from a place of stress. Mm. Just obey me. And there's nothing wrong with this. I was saying this, I was remember this, I was like, man, no insurance, no <laughs> or the over, you know what that's look, y'all don't know, but he knows. But he said, from a place of rest, I see benefactors. I see benefactors. When you went to Dubai and had to stay there, you did that from a place of rest. You had benefactors. God said, benefactors. 
Y'all need to say the benefactors are coming. 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 Oh, say it like you mean it. The benefactors are coming. The benefactors are coming. The benefactors are coming. Oh, my God, they coming. And I see them loaded down. I see them loaded down. I'm talking about capable people, able who to write serious checks. Serious checks. Your budget. <laughs> when they tell you what your budget is, your eyes going to go like this. But then when you see what the resources is, you say, oh, we got it. <laughs> Because God is getting ready to supply. So y'all need to get on your feet and praise him. Just praise him for what he's going to do. Pray, don't wait till you, don't wait, don't, you, don't, don't wait till you see the benefit. Praise him right now. Don't wait till they roll in. Give him the glory now. Hallelujah, you, you believe it. Hallelujah, magnify the Lord with me. Magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't plan on doing this. I was sitting down writing my, getting my notes. The Lord was downloading. I was writing my notes. And he said, leave them notes alone and get up and tell them. And the music, I was, I was jumping in my seat. And finally, I just said, I got to obey. Amen. Amen. Well, well, the atmosphere is already set. And this lady here, beautiful lady. I just want to welcome her to, I just want to welcome her. I want to welcome Miss Fire herself, Miss Fireball herself, Lord to God, Prophetess Mary. I want to welcome you, my darling. Amen. Come on, come on, just flow. Yes. Amen. Come on. Yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Glory to God. Oh, Miss, I mean Miss, that Miss, where you were. Miss Fireball. <laughs> Come on, where you were just a few minutes ago. Come on. Come on, I need where you were. You were in the right flow. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lord. We give you honor. Come on. Oh, Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor in this house. Even as you worship me, even as you worship me, even as you worship me. 
as you cry out to me. Oh, I love you, says the Lord.
come on, say that, say that. Going on the inside, going on the outside, going on the inside, going on the outside, going on the inside, going on the outside, going on the. Come on, you gotta let it flow. Come on, going on the inside, going on the outside, going on the inside, going on the outside. Yeah, he don't like it. Come on, he don't try to silence the voice of the Lord. Come on, but it won't work. Come on. It won't work. Come on. Going on the outside. Going on the inside. Going on the outside. Going on Come on. Going on the outside. Going on the outside. Going on the outside. Going on the outside. Going on the inside. Going on the Come on, come on, it's blowing. It's blowing, it's blowing now. It's blowing, blowing now. Going on the outside. Going on the inside. Going on the outside. Going on the inside. Going on the outside. Going on the inside. Going on the outside. Come on. Going on the outside. Going on the inside. Going on the outside. Going on, on the, the inside, going on the Come outside. on, you gotta feel going that thing. That's going, going on the inside of you. Going on the inside, going on the outside, going on the inside, going on the outside, going on the inside, going on the outside. He's blowing. He's blowing. When now? I'm performing on the inside, coming on the outside. I'm performing on the inside, showing on the outside. I'm blowing on the inside, coming on the outside. Yeah. My presence, Shebo Shoba Shata. Oh, yo, Shanda. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Going on the inside. Come on, say that. Come on. Y'all caught it? Going on the inside, going on the outside. Going on the inside, going on the outside. See, the Lord likes it when people can catch the vision. Come on. Going on the inside, going on the outside. Going on the inside, going on the outside. Say it, say it, say it. Blowing on the inside, coming on the outside. Come on. Come on, come on. Blowing on the inside, coming on the outside. Do y'all believe it? Blowing on the inside, coming on the outside. Blowing on the inside, coming on the outside. Say, as you begin to blow in the purposes of God, as you begin to blow on the inside, the purposes of God manifest. Uh huh. Blowing on the inside, blowing on the outside. Oh, blowing on the outside. Blowing on the inside, blowing on the outside. Come on, come on. Blowing on the inside, Come on, I think they feel that outside. thing. Uh -huh. Blowing on the inside, blowing on the outside. Blowing on the inside, blowing on the outside. It's blowing on the inside. Blowing on the inside, blowing on the outside. Coming on the outside. The manifested power the of God. Blowing on the outside. I said the power of God. Blowing on the inside. Blowing on the outside. Blowing on 
shepherds of this house, apostle and prophet, come on, Samuel and Marsha, come on, let's give a hand clap, come on, come on, come on, come on, I really enjoy the praise team, point at me and say, Lord, give her what you would have her to speak, only that that you would have her to speak. Nothing more. And then point at yourself and say, Lord, give me receptive ears that I may hear what the Spirit has to say. Come on, you may be seated. Come on. Amen. I just thank God for the hospitality that they've shown us. Amen. Just been a wonderful blessing. Amen. And and then uh, Minister Sean and Minister Jason, amen, uh, they have just been, you know, driving us around and getting us and taking us to where we need to be. We appreciate all of you and all of you in the house even for welcoming me. Prophetess Mary Johnson from Divine Grace Ministries. Come on, Burton, Michigan. Come on, 3271 East Atherton Road in Burton, where I pastor along my side, my husband, who is the senior pastor, Apostle Bobby Jones. <laughs> Apostle Bobby Johnson, give him a hand. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. I'm going to try to get through this real quick. Uh, it's a message that the Lord has been placing on my heart lately, and so I'm going to just go with that. Even right here in this place, in this house, the Lord wants you to know that there is purpose on the inside of you. Come on, do you know you cannot manifest divine, have divine manifestation if you don't know who you are? 
Come on, if you don't know who the Lord created you to be, if you don't know who the Lord created you, you got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so that's one of the things that the Lord want me to talk about. Amen. I had my pages all marked off. It looked like they have closed up on me, but that's okay. Um, so I just want you to know that the Lord wants you to know that he has his hands upon your life, and the Lord wants you to know that this is your now season. That's one of the things that he has been dealing with me about, that we are living in our now season. Those that have walked upright, those that have lived holy, those that reverence God, those that praise him. He said, you're in your now season. Oh, you've been gone through some stuff. Come on, you've gone through some trials. You've gone through some tribulations. It's like, Lord, I'm your worshiper. I'm the ones that praise you. I'm the one that gives you honor. I'm the one that gives you. Don't you know that that has nothing to do with when, when you're living for the Lord and when you're doing what the Lord wants you to do, called you to do and be, you're going to have some problems. You're going to have some trials. You're going to have some things that you're going to have to work through. You're going to have some things that you're going to have to fight through. You're going to have some things. So you got to understand that. So the first scripture that I'm going to go to is Jeremiah Y'all know where I'm going. One and four. Come on. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Come on. I knew thee. And he said, And before thy came forth, come on, out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. What are the things that the Lord want me to tell you? That each and every one in this room, that you were created, the Lord created you for his glory. Each and every individual in this room, the Lord wants you to know that there's purpose on the inside of you. The Lord wants you to know. So all you got to do is walk it out. Come on. You got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. Come on. You can't let the enemy railroad you and make you think the opposite of what you, who you are and who he created you to be. So you got to know when he created you, he created you with purpose. Say he created me with Say, he created me with purpose. So you got to know that, amen? You got to know that he created you with purpose, and then you got to walk it like you talking. Faith without works is dead. So you got to make sure that you know, when you say, I was created, the Lord created me, you got to mean it. You got to mean that the Lord created you. You got to mean that everything that the Lord has, and that he's placed it already inside of you. So you got to have the confidence of knowing who the Lord created you to be. Amen. You got to have the confidence to do whatever the Lord tells you to do. Come on. I don't care how much he fight against you. I don't care. You got to have some fight in you. Come on. When the Lord tells you, you got to have some fight in you. You got to be able to fight through some trials. You got to be, there ain't no sense in you asking the Lord, make my name great and you can't take nothing. Make my name great and you can't go through nothing. Make my name great. Come on, Lord, I want you to open doors for me. Lord, I want you to make ways for me. I, and the Lord says, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So when you don't see things in your life, when things are not going the way that you think they should go, you got to give it to the Lord. Amen. Because he always causes us to triumph. So number one, you got to know who you are. You got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. You got to know that he created you. You got to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you got to know that everything that he created you for is in there. Everything. And so you got to rise up in the morning. Lord, what is it that you would have me to do today? What is it that you would have me to go today? Who is it you want me to witness to today? What is it that you want me to do? You got to acknowledge him. Because some of us get up and we don't acknowledge him. We don't ask him to be in the midst. We don't ask him to direct us. We don't ask him anything. And so the Lord wants you to know that you got to begin to rise up. You got to rise up. You got to rise up and know who you are in Christ Jesus. You got to rise up. Come on, when you wake up, you got to wake up knowing, Lord, I thank you, oh God, for making me. I thank you for allowing me to come into this earth. Now, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? Because he has something for each and every one of you to do in this place. The Lord said that he created you for purpose. He created you so you got to rise up to the charge. You got to rise up to the occasion. You got to rise up. Come on. And the reason I love this house, I love the praise team here because they were worshiping. Come on, they were worshiping. The Lord loves a house that worships. The Lord said, because you worship me, he said, watch what I do. Watch what I do with this praise team. 
Watch what I do. Watch the doors that I'm going to praise him because you worship him. You come forth with pure worship. And that's what the Lord is looking for. He's looking for people that will worship him with a pure heart. And the Lord said that today, he said, I loved it the way you worship me. I loved it the way you kneeled down before me and where you cried out to me. He said, because there's so much foolishness and so much mess going on in the church. Everything is about a bump and everything is crazy. All kind of stuff, secular music in the house of the Lord. People selling weed in the house of the Lord. And the Lord said, I need to have a pure house. And the Lord said, this is one of the house that I'm going to shine the light down. This is one of the houses. Come on, yo, shandala bo kurasha. The Lord said, I'm looking for people. Come on, all this foolishness. Come on. People following after secular singers. Come on, that's talking about the church. Talking about the women in the church. Come on. I'm just going to say it. I don't care. Worship and be I say. Come on. Come on. And you say you love the Lord. She calling herself a goddess. I don't care. If you talk about me, I don't care. The truth will set you free. Come on. Well, it's Beyonce, so if she can't live holy, if she can't live righteous, no, there's no, he said, place no other gods before me. Come on, we worshiping people. Oh, y'all, they're going to turn me off. Come on, we got to recognize. We got to recognize, come on, just because the world say it. Come, the world love his own. Come on. And then we were supposed to love our church, love our leaders. Come on. We, we criticize. These are people that sold out. Come on. Come on. Bury the dead. Pray for you. There for you. No matter what. Marry you. Counsel you. And then you're going to get on the phone tell my huh, child. Did you hear what he said? Got your music, your Beyonce in the background. <laughs> Come on. That's what's wrong with you now. Come on. I know y'all ain't going to like it. But people are always picking on Beyonce. No, if the Lord tell me to say it, I'm going to say it, baby. Because the truth will set you free. See, we listen to all this stuff. See, some people, I guess they just don't know. I don't know. But you got to begin to look at the background. You got to begin to look what the people say. You got to begin, who, you know, nobody's supposed to be placed before the Lord. When you begin to call yourself a goddess and all this stuff, and talking about the church girl. Then you got church girls talking about playing in there, talking about, ooh, girl, she talking about the church girl. No, she dogging them out. And then you you praising to it. Talking about, ooh, yeah, girl. Come on. We, we got to wake up. Come on, somebody got to preach the truth. Come on, everybody want to tickle your fancy. I'm not one. I want you set free. I want you delivered. I want you to be everything God called you to be. I want the purposes of God to flow through you. Come on, what he created you for. So you got to know, you got to understand. Well, I don't, I don't like it because she's saying that too bad. What's that so saying? Too bad, so sad. Crash that grass and get glad. I know that's the old one, but I'm just saying. We got to understand. We got to recognize the times that we're living in. Amen. We got to recognize the times that we're living in. And we got to make sure that we don't put anything before our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you get up in the morning, Lord, what is it you want me to go? Lord, you created me for purpose. Lord, there's purpose on the inside of me. What is it that you desire for me to do? What is it that you desire for me to go? What is it that you desire? And then you got to allow the Lord to move in your life. You got to allow him to move in your life. Come on. So you wake up with purpose. You wake up purpose driven. You wake up knowing that you're somebody in Christ Jesus. You wake up knowing, Lord, what is my assignment? You wake up saying, what is it that you would have me to do? You wake up, come on. You wake up knowing that there's purpose on the inside of you. There's promise on the inside of you. You got to understand that. And so the Lord said, before you were even formed, before you were even formed, he had purpose on the inside of you. He wants you to know that. Come on. And he said, from forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto all the nations. Come on. He might not have ordained you as a prophet or as an apostle, but you better believe it's something that he created you for. And so you got to understand that. And you got to wake up and when the enemy try to tell you what you're not, come on, you begin to say what I am. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. 
I'm chosen and called by God. There's purpose on the inside of me. And then you operate and function in the purposes what God created you for. Amen. But you got to know it. Not only do you have to know it, you got to believe it. Come on. If you believe who God called you to be, if somebody talk about you and say what you're not, it won't bother you. Because you know who you are. You know who he created you to be. Come on. But they hurt me. And every time they always talk about me. Every time I, every time I get on fire for the Lord. What you think? Because you're a powerful force. The enemy don't want you to move forward in the things that God had created you for. So you got to understand that. You got to know that. You got to know. You got to rise up. You don't let nobody railroad you. Come on. I ain't let nobody railroad me out of the purposes of God. What God called me to be. I don't care what they say. Come on. I don't care what they do. Come on. I'm a fighter. Come on. You got to have some fight on the inside of you. You got to be able to fight through some things. Come on. Joseph had to fight through some things. Come on. Sometimes your family lie on you. Sometimes your family talk about you. Sometimes the family do things behind your back. Sometimes it's the family. Come on, you can't let that get you down. Come on, Joseph prospered no matter what. Every place that he went, he prospered. Come on. And, and through the dreams, come on, sometimes you got to go through some stuff. The Lord may give you some dreams. He may give you some things, but you may have to fight through some stuff. And you got to understand that you're going to have to fight through some stuff. And in the midst of it, you got to fight. Come on. You can't be saying, I'm a fighter. Come on. Come on. If you're a fighter, you got to have some fight in you. My husband, my family tell you, I got some fight. Come on. I don't let people just tell me something on the phone and tell me they're not going to do it. I said, well, you may not be, but somebody going to do it. The Lord got somebody that's going to help me get what I need. And I go up the ladder. They say, no, you ain't the one either. I go up the ladder. You ain't it either. I'll be saying, I'm about, how come it ain't happening? I know he said he was going to do it. Because you got to have some fight in you. You got to fight through. You got to fight your way through. When you're a child of the Lord, you got to fight. Come on. And so you have to have some fight in you. You got to know that he called you. You got to know that he chose you. You got to know there's purpose on the inside. You got to know it. Come on. And so the Lord wants you to know that there's purpose on the inside of you. And that that he said he was going to do, he would do. Come on. But he said to the Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not. I am a child, for thou shalt go to all I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Come on. Don't be afraid of the faces of the people. Some people look down at me. I don't believe in no women preachers. So? They do. They, I don't believe in no women preachers. Come on. It's said, you're not going to serve authority. Over no man. Come on. When you're doing what the Lord tells you to do, you're not trying to usurp authority. You're trying to be obedient to the voice of God. And so you know, I think like, I'm never going to go. I ain't going to go because they're going to talk about me because they talk about me because I'm an apostle. And they talk about me because I'm a woman. Come on. You better know who you are. You better know who, who the Lord created you for. You got to have some fight. Come on. And then talk about what you can't do. No, you can't do it yourself. But you do. Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, you can do all, do all things through him. That strengthens you. So you got to know that. You got to understand that in the midst of the trials, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of everything. So you got to know it's not you, no way. He said, but go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Come on. You can't be afraid of the faces. He said, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. And then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. The Lord said to you in this house, he said, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. That's how he flows with me. He just said, open your mouth, whatever I tell you to say. Come on. I'm not like Apostle Johnson. He has everything lined out. He has everything. And me, I'm just bubble up and out. <laughs> Whatever's in the house, that's what he had me give. <laughs> I don't have no notes. I don't have no, I just bubble it out. <laughs> that's how much confidence I am in my Lord. It's, Lord. Whatever you tell me to speak, oh God, I don't have to have it written out. Just what you want me to speak as a bubbling up prophet, that's what I'm going to do. 
Come on. Because you know why? I know it's in the house. I know it. I am confident that the stuff that he tell me is for a reason. So I ain't going to be, oh, I don't want to say that because they're going to be mad at me, not me. Mm-mm. Because I want my people delivered. Come on, we'll work with you. We'll work with you. We'll work. Whatever it takes, we want you delivered. Because that's one of the messages that the Lord had me. Because he wants people to operate in the purposes that he created them for on this earth. And he wants them to know that he has created them for purpose. Come on. And you got to understand that he created you. So you got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. You got to know. I I bet y'all know y'all praise team singers. Nobody can't tell you, you, don't you get up there. You ain't no singer. You ain't no praise team singer. You know who you are, right? And so when you get up, you get up with purpose. You get up on the assignment that the Lord has called you to do, what he's called you to be. Come on, whatever it is, if it's pastoring, come on, whatever it is, you wake up. Come on, I see you smiling right there. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. You got to wake up with purpose. Come on, I like this keyboard player. Come on. And even the Lord says, son, truly, this is a time that I'm going to begin to use you even more. He said, because you have come before me and you are humiliated before me and you are open to what I say. and You are open to what I do. And the Lord says, I'm going to begin to use you. He said, people will know you around this world. He said, I'm going to anoint your hands even the more. And the Lord said, even as you go forth, he said, my glory shall be revealed through you. My glory shall be revealed in the music. For the Lord said, for many have need of your ministry. Many have need of people that know how to flow and a lot of people don't know how to flow and the Lord said I have equipped you come on with everything that need come on if it's warfare I've already equipped you whatever it is the Lord said I've already equipped you and the Lord said to tell you son I am pleased with you I am pleased with you I am pleased for how you want to worship me I am pleased with you I am pleased how you handle your assignment I am pleased says the Lord and so the Lord said know this son he said I will make your name great I will do it. Come on, Yoshanda. I will do it. See, I'm going to tell you, I love worshipers. I love worshipers because I'm a worshiper. And so when I'm in houses and all this food and it's just going on, I can't take it. Don't you give me the mic then. Got a bunch of foolishness in the house. You ain't going to like what I say. Come on. You got to understand that. So he wants you to know that everything he created you for, come on, my husband was right. The Lord is going to do something in this house. Come on. You, you guys operate in a spirit of excellence and perfection. Know how to treat ministry gifts. Come on. Some people bring you in and don't give you a dime. <laughs> well, you just need to do it. You know, you, you're a child of God. You're talking about you're a preacher. You just need, yeah, but a workman is worthy of his hire. Come on. People, something else. And then they try to ask you to come back. Oh, it was really blessed you come out. I ain't coming in. Not, not me. Unless the Lord tell me now. Now, sometimes the Lord say, you're going to go back. <laughs> you're going to. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna get that right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do come up against nothing. The, nothing the Lord tell me to do. Come on. But some people can rub your last nurse. Won't they profit? Your last nurse. Stop on it. <laughs> and you gotta rise up. Come on. Come on. I know you can rise up. You, you can rise up to the challenge. You don't play. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got the light spirits. We don't play. Come on. But he said, I have set thee this day. Come on. I set thee over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. Come on. Throw down. That's what I'm calling you to do. I don't know if I can throw down. Come on. You was created for purpose. Come on. Do you believe everything the Lord created you for is on the inside of you? Or do you just think the Lord just threw you together? That's right. I see her. She's looking serious like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that brown jack. That's right. Come on. You got to know what he created you for. You got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. Come on. I'm going to go to, I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I'm going to go to um, 15 St. John. 15, 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained 
you. What did I say? What did I say he did? And what? Come on, say that again. Ordained you. Come on now. Well, I want my papers. I want my paper. I how come I I've been here. I haven't got anointed. I haven't I haven't received no papers yet. See, like everybody going over me, everybody getting to be a pastor. Come on. I ordained you. What are you doing with what I ordained you to do? Jesus, he ordained you for purpose. He ordained you. Why aren't you witnessing? Come on. That's one of the ways the Lord is going to fill this house. It's through you witnessing. Sheep beget sheep. Come in the house. Come not just be looking around talking about, come on, where the people? Come on. Why you ain't doing your assignment? Why you not taking your assignment seriously? Come on. I loved it how, I loved it how prophet she was at the nail place witnessing to somebody. Come on. See, when you witness, when you witness, the Lord will touch the hearts. He's already equipped. It's in there. The purposes of God. When you wrote that book, did you did that, that book just go right by itself to Felicia? You got to do something. Number two, you got to do something. Come on, you got to do something. That's right. That's right, phone. <laughs> you got to do something. You gotta know, you gotta be willing to do something. Come on, he'll breathe on it. He'll breathe on it if you're willing to do what the Lord say do. He will breathe on it. Now I'm not talking about you get out of order. You tell me I'm just gonna do what I want to do. No, you got leadership. Come on. So things need to be done decent in order. And when they, and when you really hear from the Lord and when you're really sincere, come on, you're not gonna be out of order. You're going to know, you're going to take what, what the Lord gives you to do, what he tells for you to do. You're going to take it serious, and you're going to move out in the things of God with perfection, honoring, and reverencing God. Come on, that's right. So you got to understand. So he said, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. What kind of fruit you bringing in? Come on. I tell people at my church, the Lord didn't just ordain you to come in and sit in the pews. Come on. You got to see yourself as the Lord sees you. You got to be purpose driven. It's like, Lord, whatever you want me to do, you got to see yourself as that person that the Lord created you for. Come on. Lord, what is it that you want me to do? What is it you want? Where is it you want me to go? That your fruit should remain, and that whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, I may give it to you. Come on. And these things I command you that ye love one another. Okay, who is this? Who is this talking? It's Jesus, right? The world will hate Jesus, followers. Come on. He will hate. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Sometimes people size you up, you haven't done nothing. Prophet, Marcia, I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like you ain't did nothing. <laughs> but it's because you are a high impact person. Come on, on the kingdom. You declare war on the kingdom. Come on, they are the devil. So that's why he attacked. So you got to understand. So you got to have some fight in you. Come on, you got to rise up. You got to rise up with your assignment. Simon, rise up with purpose. Be purpose driven. Lord, whatever it is, Lord, how can I help my church? Come on. Lord, what is it that you want me to do to improve my church? Lord, come on, you got to rise up. Come on. Knowing that the Lord placed you. This is your house. Come on. Lord, what do you want me to do? What can I do, oh God, to make my house a better place? Lord, Use me for your glory. Lord, whatever it is. You got to wake up with purpose. You got to wake up on assignment. Wake up. Come on. My husband is a hard worker. When he was prophesying, 
he works. He works. When I say work, he works till he make me tired. I be telling him, I, like you, I be like, hon, you don't have to do all that. But then sometimes I'll go and I'll look at the grounds and I'll look at some of the stuff that he be over there doing because nobody's doing it. Come on, we got deacons not doing deacon work around the world. We got deacons not doing deacon work around the world. Now, we got a couple of deacons that's really good because I, so I, they would work, they'll be beside him, whatever you want me to do, pastor, whatever you, whatever you want me to do. Come on. But you have some people, come on, walk in this, see some, boy, somebody need to pick that paper up. Now, how about you pick it up? How about you pick it up? How about stuff that you see that need to be done? Come on, how about you do it? That's what the Lord created you for. See, when the Lord places you in the house, he places you in the house because you have what the house needs. When he places you in the house, you have everything that the house needs. And when you sit down on your gifting, it's not happening. So he wants you to understand, don't sit down on your assignment. Don't sit down on the things that the Lord has shown you. Don't sit down on the things that the Lord has let you see that needs to be done. Don't you sit down. Rise up. It's time to rise up. I said it's time to rise up. Come on. You got to rise up to purpose. You got to rise up to everything that he called you to be. Amen? The Lord wants you to understand that. And he says that when you do it, the Lord said he shall make your way straight. We're going to go to Isaiah 43 and 1. But now, thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he formed thee, O Israel. Fear not. I don't care what's going on. Don't you fear. Why? Because I have redeemed thee. I have redeemed thee. Come on, here we go. I have called thee by your name. Each and every individual in this place, each and every individual on this broadcast, I call you by your name. Come on, when the Lord call you by name, if you don't take that serious, come on, when will you? When the Lord ordained you, if you don't take that serious, when will you? You got to know who you are. You got to know that you are here for the purposes of God, that you are here to carry out what the Lord has called you to do. Come on. He said, you don't have to fear, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name, and thou art mine. Come on. I don't know this worshiper here. You just, you just bless me so. All y'all bless me, really. But it's that worship, the way it just comes up and out. Oh, there's a couple of y'all. I don't know where the other one is. But the Lord is pleased with your worship. The whole praise team. I think my husband, I think we need to pray for y'all before we, before we go. I don't know if we want to do it Sunday or, or what, but I, I feel like we do need to pray over y'all. Amen. He said, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. I know sometimes you feel like you're going under, but even if you know you're not going under. Sometimes people be attacking their bodies. Come on. Still get up, still fight. Ask me how I know. But you got to still, you got to fight your way through. You got to fight your way. You got to know. You, you, I take my assignment seriously. A lot of times on Thursdays when I'm supposed to do, come on, that's when everybody calls. That's where everything, they try to schedule appointments. They try to schedule stuff. I say, I'm not doing it Thursday at 10 o'clock. I got a broadcast to do. And I, and I take my assignment serious. I'm not going to let you get off me. I was like, give me another day. Yes, we'll give you another day. You got to speak it. See, you can't just let people just do anything. Come on, you got to speak it. You got to speak it. You got to believe. I'm on assignment. Apostle and prophet, when the Lord, what the Lord has for you to do, you take your assignment serious, don't you? No matter what, sometimes you wake up, you don't feel like it. Your people think we're like, duh, duh, duh. I'm superwoman. 
I'm Superman. Come on. They human just like you are. Come on. You you just have to fight your way through. Sometimes we get up, sometimes don't even be to slept. Come on. Sometimes I've been, been awake all night. I got the 10 o'clock broadcast, aching in my body. Get on the thing, and then I get on there. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> and then I go forth, and then when I get done, then I come on back. And a lot of times I feel better after that. We done been up all night long. Come on. So you got to know, you got to know, you're going you gonna to have some attacks. You're going to have some things, come on, when you make an impact, come on, on the kingdom of God. You're going to go through some stuff. You're going to have to fight through some things. You're going to have to, come on, you got to persevere. You got to persevere forward because you got to know he's with you. When he says he's with you, he said, Lord, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. When you're going through in your body, he said, I was wounded for your transgressions and bruised for your iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripe, by stripes, you are healed. And so, Lord, I'm waiting on the manifestation of it. Come on, now I'm about to talk about divine manifestation. Come on, come on. See, when you know who you are, come on, divine manifestation will come forth. When you know who he created you for, divine manifestation will come forth. The Lord said there's some things that he's about to do. There's some things that he's about to do in this house. There's some things he's about to do in your ministries. There's some things that he's about to do on your praise team. Why? Because you love him. Why? Because you worship him. Why? Because you take your assignment serious. Why? Because you know he created you come on for his glory he said I created you for my glory I don't even know if I read that but he created you for his glory and so he wants you to understand that that you weren't just created for nothing you were created for his glory and everything that he created you for is on the inside of you and the Lord said you were created for his glory so when he said you were created for his glory you gotta start acting like it come on you gotta reverence him Lord I know that you created me for your glory so what is it that you would have me to do and then you gotta allow him to do it I'm almost done he created you for his glory Come on, so the Lord wants you to know that. So there's some things that's about to happen in this place. Come on. They're going to begin to prophesy and it shall come to pass. They're going to begin to lay hands on you and you shall be delivered. Come on, it's already happening, but you have not begun to see the magnitude of the divine manifestations of God that's about to take place in this house. The Lord is about to move in this house. I see you, prophet. I see you praying. I see some of y'all praying and interceding. And the Lord said, access granted. Access granted. There's some things that you've been praying about. There's some things that you've been crying out to him about. And the Lord said, it's about to manifest. Come on. The Lord said, he's about to manifest. Uh, the presence of God, the power of God, the anointing of God is about this. It's going to be a filling station in this house. People going to come in, they're going to be weeping. They're going to come in one way and leave another. This is going to be the Lord's filling station. Come on. People going to come in, come on, to get blessed. People going to come in battered, tired, and beat down. Guess why? Because y'all going to be witnessing. And they're going to get delivered in this house. The divine manifestation of the Lord is about to hit this house. Come on. He said, the Lord is about the movie. He said, it is going to be overabundance joy in this house. When people walk into this house, they're going to feel the presence of God. When the praise worship team is up, they're going to feel the presence of God. People around this world is going to feel the presence of God, the power of God, and the anointing of God because of this house. Uh -huh. Because as you worship him, come on, you know. But y'all have some fact they sent out the appraisers. Come on. People need to understand how important worship is. Man, I was over there. The enemy was fighting me with something. I said, devil, you a lie. I'm going to put this, this thing down. I said, because the worship was so strong. The Lord said he loved those that will worship him. You better understand it and you better believe it, that he loves worshipers. And the Lord is about to do something in this house.
that you cannot even begin to imagine. Come on. He's about to move supernaturally in this house. And the Lord wants you to know, come on, that he created you for his glory. Come on. The glory of God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. And it said, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, Savior. I gave in, in Egypt for a ransom and Ethiopia and Sheba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, and thou hast been honorable and have loved thee, therefore will I give men for thee and people for their life. The Lord said, you thought he gave for you before. He said, watch what I'm going to do. Watch what I'm going to do in your life. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to give men. Come on. He said, there's going to be some divine connections coming. Come on. You have some things, come on, that you have wrote down. Some things seem like it is not even happening. But the Lord said, watch me work. He said, as you begin to intercede now, you're in your now season. And you're in the season where the Lord is about to do a new thing. Come on, he's already done some things, but he said a new thing, overflowing, overabundance is coming to you during this time. Come on. He wants you to know. And he said, he's going to give, I love thee, therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. I'm about to give men and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. And I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Come on, bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Come on. And then this is what he was reminding me of. I said, I didn't read that. He said, no, you didn't. And I wanted you to read it. He said, and even everyone that is called by my name, I have created him for my glory. And I have formed him. Yeah, I have made him. Come on. The Lord said, I created you for my glory. I didn't create you just to sit on the pews. I created you for my glory. The Lord said, so as you wake up in the morning, you got to see yourself through the eyes of Christ. You got to see yourself, what he called you to be. You got to see, you got to wake up with purpose. Lord, what is it? What do you want me to do? Who is it you want me to witness to? Who is it you want me to evangelize? Who? Lord, what is it that you want me to do? You got to wake up with purpose. You got to wake up. Lord, what can I do to make my church a better church, oh God? To make my church a lighthouse. What can I do, oh God? Because you know, each one of y'all, y'all got some skill sets, right? Any mega church had to have somebody step up. Somebody had to say, oh, this is what's needed in my house. This is what's needed in our church. And then step up. The Lord is calling you to step up to your, on your assignments. Come on. You got to step up. You got to take what God created you for. He created you. He ordained you. So you got to be serious about it. You got to wake up. Lord, where do you want me to go today? Who do you want me to witness to today? What is it you want me to do today? Well, how, how can I impact my house? What skills do they need in my house? If you know you got it, you sitting up there looking around talking about the stuff. Come on, I don't know why they're not doing it. Why are you not doing it? You got the skill set. Are you looking at me like... <laughs> Come on. You got the skill set. Come on. I see her smiling right here. She got some skills. <laughs> Both of them. Come on. Come on, mother. <laughs> Come on. Y'all got some skills. So I need you to take what God created you for seriously. See yourself through the eyes of Christ. See yourself doing the assignments that the Lord called you to do. See yourself. I'm going to get ready to close. I'm going to have the pastor come up here in a minute. But even now, even now, as he gets back on that keyboard. <laughs> come on right now in the name of Jesus. Obi Oshandalebo Koro Shanda. Obi Oshandalebo Koro Shanda. 
Why you raising the music? Because you saying you want me to do the music or what? Come on. Because I like how he was going. Come on, Eoshana, Eoshana. Oh, Eoshana, Eoshana. Lord, Eoshana. Oh, Lord, move through this place. stand to your feet for a moment. Lord, move through this place. Oh, Lord, let the people see themselves as you see them in this house. Purpose. Call. Chosen. Come on. Call chosen, chosen purpose. Come on, call chosen. You are purpose. On the inside of me, and 
you will experience my manifested power and glory working through me. I'm doing a new thing. Do you says I'm doing a new thing? Do you says the Lord my manifested power shall work? Come on, walk with me a moment. He said I'm doing a new thing. He said I'm doing a new thing. Do you my manifested power and glory shall work through you? Says the Lord, I'm doing a new thing. Do you says the Lord a new thing? Do you says the Lord my manifested power and glory? Come on, it's coming now. Hey, 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 Father, even as they're preparing right now, and I'm going to get my seed, I'm going to make sure I get mine in as well. Amen. As you hear the voice of God and be obedient to the voice of God, the Lord is going to move in your life. He gives seed to the sower. Amen. Apostle may want to say something else. I'm going to put it into his hands. Amen. I didn't know if he wanted to say something. No, no. But he gives seed to the sower. And as I said, we can't be God-given. Come on. Sometimes you have to do a sacrificial seed. And when you do that sacrificial seed, the Lord moves on your behalf. He already moving. Come on. I told you. He told me to do some things before I got here. I say on the plane, on the way here, I was hearing cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. See, the Lord will honor. When you honor him, when you bless him, when you be obedient to his word, then the Lord be obedient, and he gives you what to, he gives seed to the sower, amen. So even now, I'm waiting a few more moments to give you time, and then I need to put it into somebody else, because I want to put my seed in. I like to put my seed in uh, when the seeds are supposed to be given, amen. So now, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, even as they're preparing right now, Lord, I'm asking, oh God, that you begin to minister to your people, that you begin to speak to their hearts, Lord, and that you would let, let them know that that they should do, oh God, because you deal with individuals individually, and you didn't tell me to do a certain amount this time. So, Lord, I know you would want to deal with the people individually. Lord, you already dealt with me what you wanted me to do. So, Lord, I just pray, Father, the ones that are here, Father, that you would, they will hear your voice, oh God, and Lord, move and do and release that, that you've given them to do. And Lord, if it be it even, it even over the broadcast, well, she just doing that. No, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for this house. Amen. We need to be a blessing in this house. And so I'm going to sow a seed and be a blessing into this house. Amen. So Lord, even now as they're standing, oh God, and preparing, some of them I know a lot of may be doing it online. Amen. All of the information is on the screens right here. Amen. Uh, I'll let them read it off. Let me see. I think I can do it. I don't have my glasses on. Cash up, dollar sign, Everlasting Life CC. Website, everlastinglife.org slash give. Uh -huh. Come on. PayPal, come on. Finance at everlastinglife.org. And then Zell Finance at everlastinglife.org. Come on, that's prophetic in itself. You're doing good. Come on, everlasting life. You're doing come on. Good. Come on, who wouldn't <laughs> sow into the everlasting Hallelujah. life? Come on. Come on, you want everlasting life. You need to sow a seed. Amen. Come on, come on somebody. Come, come on. on. Come on. God, we thank I, you. I, I'm hearing a very yeah, yeah. I'm hearing a peculiar word. I just need about six men to stand in line right here. Six. Mm -hmm. But face that face there. Six, six, about, about six. I gotta tell him this. I gotta tell him this. I need about six minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Honey, I want you to stand in front of them. I hear the Lord says, in this season, I'm exposing some things that some ministry, my God, some quote, men of God, he says, in this season, I'm exposing. Exposing, exposing, exposing. He said there's some things that's going to look unbelievable, but it's part of my exposing. Because God says, what I am going to do in this season, oh glory to God, I'm going to use my God, my God, my anointing, and I'm going to pour. What this one didn't come accomplish, I'm going to pour. And what this one didn't accomplish, I'm going to pour. 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 I want you to put his hand on his shoulder. Glory to God.
God because he was my obedient servant. He did not do my God, my God, what others said to do, what others have done, my God. So he says, I'm going to use all of that, my God, and I'm going to pour into him, my God, for truly this is the end time ministry, the end time my God anointing, an end time apostle. Oh my God. Oh glory to God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless you all. I know everyone had a wonderful time tonight. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. God bless you. As you come invite someone tomorrow as well. Be here at 1030. Amen. But this house is blessed. Amen. Come on, lift your hands. Father, we thank you and praise you for everything that's been poured out in this place. It reminds me of the molten gold that was spoken last night that was poured out in this place. Father, I thank you. We don't take it for granted, but we just give you all honor, glory, and praise. Now, by the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest rule in the Bible with us now and forevermore. Let the saints of God shout. To God be the glory. Don't be late. 1030.